Well, what do you know? It's finally here. After waiting for a little over a year and a half at this point since Iron Gwazi was announced, we now have an official real POV of Iron Gwazi, which is set to open in spring of 2021. And we're just going to look at this POV. I'm sure everyone has seen this POV at this point, but I just want to kind of give my thoughts on it because this is such a huge ride for the industry. So I'm just going to kind of go through the layout. I've seen the POV a few times by this point and uh let's just get right into it here at the top of this massive 206 foot tall lift hill you get flung over the top go down the huge 91 degree drop so it's just ever so slightly beyond vertical of course i'm sure this drop is going to be absolutely amazing first of all it twists to the right but you also have these incredible head choppers and these are the first of a few sets of incredible head choppers on this ride so going beyond this, we have this Outer Bank turn, which reminds me a lot of the Outer Bank turn on Steel Vengeance, which is one of my favorite elements. It is absolutely fantastic, provides really great sustained ejector air. You have another amazing head chopper here as you twist to the left, a couple more head choppers, and then you fly up to the right, and then you twist around into this inversion, which this looks absolutely amazing. It's kind of like one of those barrel roll down drops, like you'll find on Twisted Timbers and and Storm Chaser. But of course, this is taken at a very rapid speed, as instead of coming right off the lift hill, you're just flying through it. After that, you have a really steeply banked turn here, almost an inversion with some crazy supports over your head. You have a small wave turn, and you're absolutely just hauling through this part of the ride. You have another small wave turn here. You're twisting around a little bit. You have the zero G stall, and you're basically just twisting around every which way in the typical RMC fashion, getting some more great airtime, some pretty decent positive forces as well you have a couple more head choppers there and then you end the ride Iron Gwazi, it's not the longest ride out there. It's by no means a short ride at all. It has a little over 4,000 feet of track, and the ride time from drop to brakes is about 47 seconds, so it's a pretty good ride length. And right out of the gate, that's one of the things that people are already criticizing Iron Gwazi for when comparing it to Steel Vengeance, because of course, everybody is comparing those two rides, because why wouldn't they? It makes a lot of sense to. Iron Gwazi is a lot shorter than Steel Vengeance, but Steel Vengeance is an extreme extremely long ride. It's absurdly long. Most coasters don't even come close to that ride time and ride length. It is a little bit unfair to compare it to Steel Vengeance, I feel. There is a lot of speed left at the end of Iron Gwazi. It flies into that brake run, and I feel like they could have added some more to the ride. They definitely had the speed to work with, but I think the ride is just fine how it is. The layout looks fantastic. This ride is going to be insane. I think this is for sure going to be a top 10 ride in the world easily, probably even top 5. And I have to say, I made a video a couple months back talking about Velocicoaster. Of course, a lot of people are hyping Velocicoaster up, including myself. I was talking about how that could possibly be one of the best coasters in the world and how I think it might actually beat Iron Gwazi. If I didn't mention that in the video, I absolutely have been thinking for a while that Velocicoaster will most likely undoubtedly be better than Iron Gwazi in my opinion. But after seeing this official POV for Iron Gwazi, I mean, the competition is so tough. I mean, this is going to be really, really close. Iron Gwazi looks absolutely incredible. I can't wait to hear the reactions of people that actually get to ride it next year. It's going to be really exciting. This is definitely a great thing for the industry. I don't really have a whole lot else to add that other people haven't added. I will say, though, I'm really burnt out by all of the quote-unquote enthusiasts online which like to complain about little nitpicky things here. I've seen some people calling this ride forceless. Somebody actually said this is more of a family RMC, basically saying it was a tame ride. I don't understand where that's coming from. It's just plain coaster elitism, in my opinion. It's just an elitist attitude. This ride looks fantastic, and I definitely can't wait to check this out, hopefully at some point. I have no idea when that would be, but I'm definitely glad this is going to be hopefully opening next year, finally. This looks like it's going to be one of the best coasters in the world. I will say Iron Gwazi, to me, is almost like America's answer to Zadra. It's almost like the American version of Zadra. The rides really remind me a lot of each other, even if the layouts aren't super similar in all regards the spirit of them almost like they're both iron guazi is basically a ground up rmc i mean let's be real it's built off of the original guazi but from what i understand at least 75 percent of iron guazi is just completely ground up it's basically a ground up rmc 
In any case, let me know your thoughts on Iron Gwazi. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Coaster Daddy. Bye.